40 plus years of personal learning. I consider myself fortunate to have always worked in organizations that at least tried to make process improvement and employee involvement part of their work cultures. I've learned from these experiences, largely because I worked in places where at least one person, if not more, both supported me and allowed me to experiment. The approaches I try to sell people these days are not just concepts I read about in books or experience for just a few years in one or two organizations. I feel that I've learned a lot over my 40 plus year work career, both in terms of what does not work as much as what does work. In the diagram, I've tried to highlight the, some of the key points I've picked up over these 40 plus years. And you'll see a mix of both some of the tasks that I learned how to do that are key in supporting organizations, and you'll see some specifics that are there relative to novel approaches to process improvement and employee engagement. All I can say is I got to practice and experiment with all of them, take the best, and blend them into something that I feel works really well, and I feel the approaches are calibrated by those organizations that score well against the Baldridge criteria. I'm quite happy to talk to you more so you can judge for yourself. I've had the privilege of working with project team-based improvement in six different organizations. While helping over 100 teams with their projects during that time helped teach me both what can help and hinder project team performance, I also learned that project teams alone won't help you achieve, let alone sustain, process excellence. Through experience, I learned that process excellence can only be attained if you build process excellence expectations and skill requirements into the jobs of every employee, and in particular, every formal leader. I learned that the manner in which our leaders interface with their people each day is much more important than the quality of a given set of training courses, the knowledge that a consultant might be able to share with you, or the charismatic CEO's annual speech. I've had some great learning experiences over the years, and I am still learning every single day. I have to say, however, that of all these experiences, serving as a National Baldrige Examiner for 20 years has affected my career path and attitudes about work more than anything else. My Baldrige experiences have shown me time and time again that high performance is not just an ideal or catchphrase that can be used to sell more books. There are organizations out there that are doing it right each day. The problem is they represent a very small percentage of the total. Five key concepts. All work is a process. All processes produce results. Systems shape culture. Systems give you what they are designed to give you. People make the difference. If I had to sum up my key learnings over the past 40 plus years, I would do so by listing the above five bullets. In several cases, I was introduced to these concepts years ago but their full impact didn't really hit me until the last 20 years or so. Today, they serve as the foundation of the messages I share with all groups and individuals I come across as a taproot root cause analysis trainer, a speaker and trainer for the Institute of Industrial Engineers and Systems Engineers, and as the Chief Excellence Officer of Great Systems. The fact that I consider these five bullets to be foundational is key. Too many organizations fail to clearly identify those principles and beliefs that make up the current foundation of their organization, both its systems and its culture. How familiar are you with your organization's mission, vision, and values? How about your team? How well does your organization recognize that building a better organization is just like building a better house? If you violate the building codes to save money or time when constructing a house, you might end up with an electrical fire, a cracked patio, or a leaky roof. The impact of violating high-performance building codes in an organization, however, is not nearly as obvious, however, and normally affects many more lives and families. It's likely that these five bullets make sense to you, and many organizational leaders would be too quick to say that you're telling me nothing new. We do those things already. When I hear such a counter-argument, however, I have no problem coming back with the question, how do you really know? Can you show me the results that support your beliefs? One can be aware of the right path and still not be on it. 
I'll build on these five concepts throughout this book. But if your goal is to sincerely pursue process excellence, please take a look at right now at these five concepts and give them some additional thought. It will be very difficult for your team or organization to make significant progress towards process excellence if you choose to ignore one of these foundational building codes. Well, at least that has been my experience.